right, so today we are going to do something to this really old compressor. I live in central Florida and it's really, really humid outside. Like, I'm not sure how well this is capturing me. Let's rotate this a little. Sorry about that. I have you guys on the tripod today. Uh, we are going to do some upgrades to this. Number one, I've emptied out the water reservoir, aka the tank, because I had a water in it and the water came out was really rusty. So, because the tank, the compressor, all this compressor and because uh, the um, air is very humid outside I went to Harbor Freight years ago and I say a couple years ago and I bought this uh, cheap water um, uh, filter Separator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it into the compressor right here. So I'm thinking these are 13, 13, no, not 13s. Now let's go 6, 15. If it goes to 16, should it go to 16? Nope. 17? Yes. All right, I don't want to break the housing. Let me grab another. Okay, just a wrench. Just so that I can hold this side. even want to reuse it but unfortunately I don't have a replacement for it right now those are on order which is why the project for the uh, tank is going to have to wait so for right now I'm going to add the simple thing a little Teflon tape there are going to be people out there they're going to tell me I'm doing this wrong you guys aren't here so uh, if you're not here, I'm sorry, but please enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm up to almost 200 of you guys watching this stuff. So a little Teflon tape on the old coupler. It's going to get replaced anyway. It's got an arrow that shows you the airflow, so the airflow is on this side. Uh, this is a 17 mil. Should be deep enough for the adjustable wrench to fit on it. Yeah. I hope, anyway. So, next is the meeting brass fitting to go in between the filter and the regulator, which is what this is. Right? 
So the idea is to not introduce moisture into the air line or the air tool or the air hose. Right? We want to keep it as moisture free as possible. smaller I think it's either a 13 or a 14 no, let's go 14 not 14 box and run under the wrench okay Pull off the extra Teflon tape. Get another two or three inches on the opposite side. And then we're gonna screw it into the regulator here. Why all of a sudden do I wanna have a moisture or water remover or filter on this cheapo Harbor Freight? Uh, compressor that my father gave me 10 years ago I'll tell you why because the next part of this video series will be the expansion tank that I'm going to make out of a propane tank because why the hell not I have all the components for it might as well make it well most of the components for it Oh, this is not going to be good. I need my handy dandy. Uh, this is from the, my good friends at Dollar Tree. They make shitty tools, but when you don't have a Dremel accessible. Do I have a Dremel accessible? I do. I just don't want to mess with it right now. Off. See, dollar twenty-five. A good investment for dollar twenty-five. Actually, no. It goes over here as a home. Where I know where it is, on the wall of tools, of misforgotten tools. All right. So, what was the thing? Oh yeah. Righty tidy lefty Lucy. That's that. This was a 14. So now I'm gonna grab this here. Tighten it a bit. support okay there it's vertical I'm not going to turn it on with you guys watching because it'll be miserable because I have a boom mic on this thing. Or a boom mic. But I have a little boom attachment mic to my phone. So in reality, what's going to happen is in a day or two, I should receive the air hose that I ordered for this uh, contraption. I'm going to add a barb on this side. And it'll go to... it'll. So let me digress. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to have, uh, it's a 20 gallon tank, 20 gallon, I don't think it's 20 gallons. This is three, that's a 10, maybe a 10 gallon, I don't know. 
How much is a propane bottle? What, 20 pounds? 20 pound bo propane bottle. It's not measured in gallons. I'm sorry, a 20 pound propane bottle, which will give me about five or six gallons of storage over there. Uh, plus this one will give me three, plus the pipes and hoses interconnected with one another should give me an additional pound of PSI at 100 PSI. So what I intend on doing with this stuff is I'm going to mount it to the corner where they're supposed to go. The tank will go upside down, the expansion tank it will be expandable, right? So it can go and I can add on more tanks as I need uh, using uh, pipe fittings and uh, iron pipe fittings and so forth, galvanized pipe. They're all rated above 100 PSI. The compressor barely can make 100 PSI. So I'm not worried about it rupturing at all, not whatsoever. But what I am worried about is rust. So by putting in the water separator, I intend on having this. You know what, actually I think I'm gonna keep it with a coupler and then out of the 50 foot hose that's coming today, tomorrow, Sunday, I don't know, over the weekend. It was $12. I could have bought a six foot um, air tank hose. That was $12. I found one, a 50 foot one on Amazon that someone messed up. And the price was uh, $11.99. So I figured do that, cut it, cut the piece that I need, right? And make a, a double ended uh, hose and then get a ball valve. So that way I can turn it off, cut it off and then disconnect and just lose the air pressure between the tank, this tank and that tank. Um, and then just reconnect and it'll re-establish the, the pressure. Um, eventually, I would like the shop to have, when I say shop, I'm quick, light loosely. I would like the shed to have a halo of compressed air in the form of three quarter inch uh, pipe going around the top with T's that bring down a couple of drops so I can add. I don't know why I would need that. I, honestly, I should just save the money from that and just get like a, a three-way coupler at the end of the last expansion tank. So that's what we'll probably end up doing. Because this is a 10 by 12 and with a 50 and a 25, I have another, so I, have, I think that one's also a 50 foot hose, the blue one from lows so I want to say a four with 94 feet of air hose I can go all over my property even to the front yard yeah I can go to the front yard because there I have a hundred foot extension cord right now feeding power to the the irrigation pump which is right on the opposite side of where the minor station is and that's running off of a hundred foot hose and that goes all the way around. So I'm pretty sure with 100 foot of 100 feet of air hose plus 100 psi and 10 gallons of storage, I sh or of uh, pressure capacity, I should be okay. Um, what else? So that's what I'm working on today. So this is it for now for the tanks prep. It's been uh, depressurized. I'm going to uh, hook up my little squirty gun for it. It's actually right here so you guys can see it. Sorry, I'm just looking. I thought I had couplers. I don't know what I did with them. I thought I did. I have the barbs, like this piece here. I have a few of those, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna literally plug it in. All right, let the air compress and then just release it. 
compress, release a couple cycles, maybe two or three, and bring this long. Not along, I'll follow up with you guys afterwards because this is going to be long for you. Thank you for watching Leo Build It. Please like, comment, subscribe. Help me out with the algorithm. Have a good rest of your day. And let's cut this video up so we can go about a lot of noise.